Hello, Assalamualaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of how Factory Talk View SE. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the data logging in SQL database. So, first of all, in the previous video, I will show you how to connect a database. So, you will see a setting. I am connected to my SQL database, and you will see here is my username and password of my SQL database, which is connected. Win CC, and here is my username and password. Now I am going to click OK and then I am going to select a data login. So you will see how I am going to data log. I am going to select a new and new which is my database. Now I am going to click OK and select my database which is also I think I am going to create a new one. So first of all we need to delete the other and I think we don't have an older. Now I'm going to create a new OVC database. So you will see I'm going to create a new file data source. And I'm going to select an SQL server. I'm going to browse that and save into my desktop with the name of new. You will see that. I'm going to save on my desktop. I'm going to select that and select desktop and OK. I think it is not created. Now I am going to do that again. File data source. SQL server. Next. I am going to browse. Now I am going to save that new to my desktop. I am going to select a next and finish. Now I am going to connect to with my database. So I am going to copy that. My address of my server name. Copy. And I am going to paste it there like that now I'm going to select NAS and select Windows SQL Server application and now I'm going to select an SA which is my password of my these database and a password and that's it now I'm going to select a next I'm going to change a database and you will see I will create a new database there there you will see a new database I'm going to finish that and you will see test source our database is successfully connected and our data logging is start now I'm going to create tables so you will see our database table is now created and I think we need and again our server login and password I'm going to enter that and confirm password I think we have done. Now I am going to select a path. We don't want a backup of that. I am going to login to the trigger and I am going to select a periodic on one second because we don't have a time. Now again we are going to select the tag. So I am going to select a tank and you will see my level tag in the previous video. I am going to remove clear there the level and our set point which is there. I am going to select an OK, add that and OK. I am going to component name is the new, the new and our data log file is now created. Now I am going to my screen. So you will see my data log screen in, is created. In the previous video, data logging, I will show you how we data log. So I am going to create a new button and up opinions I am going to select a log on and the action I am going to select a data log and log on like that select our log file finish that ok I am going to create a new button and I am going to name it a log of an action I am going to select a log of there and my log file which is new finish and ok I think our both buttons has now created now I am going to save that whole project and start my runtime to see if it is connected or not and you will see my factory IO is also connected I am going to make it open to select a set point and what we need to do
so you will see our screen is now started and first of all we are going to make a kp value our and i am going to select a set point which is i think 5.0 and you will see our tank is now working now i am going to log and i am going to select a log on so you will see obdc no module has started log on and after it will reach the point i will off the log off so you will see our tank is logging and uh, here is our set point which is 5.0 now if i am going to change that to 6.0 so check i am going to change that and you will see our tank is now working now i am going to log and i think i have done now it's take time but i am going to log off so you will see our stop data log is now stop i am going to database to check that our logging is done or not you will see new and the table and i am going to select that top 100 row check so you will see that it is logging our data so that is our set point which is 5 and that is our level that is our set point and the below is our level and uh, you will see that now we are going to change you will see 6 and that is our level i am going to tag table so you will see that is a set point and the level is these our data logging now i need to check that our more data logging is done or not so i am going to you will see it will our other data logging which is uh, you will see alarm it will all our alarm data logging the alarm we are created in the previous videos it will data logging of that i am going to name it as c users and tables it will uh, it is our before previous alarm track record so you will see and uh, if i am going to my desktop so you will see that in the desktop you will see that our database is there so i think that's it so thank you very much for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video and click the bell icons and don't forget to watch my other tutorials of windows soft scada ignition scada and factory io tutorials as well so if you want to learn watch my videos so thank you very much again for watch my video